A child asylum seeker who was allegedly raped as a 10-year-old while in immigration detention on Nauru is suing the federal government and the detention centre's operators. Lawyers for the Iranian boy say he was owed a duty of care and now suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder and suicidal tendencies. Emma Younger reports. At Australia's offshore immigration detention centre on Nauru in late 2014, it's alleged a 10-year-old boy was raped by an older detainee. Lawyers for the Iranian boy say his mother reported the assault, but it wasn't until she went back to the centre's operators after her son was raped a third time that they took action. That they're not keeping people safe and they're not acting fast enough as soon as these incidents are reported. Morris Blackburn is representing the boy pro bono in a lawsuit against the Commonwealth and the centre's operators, Broad Spectrum and Wilson. A writ filed in Melbourne this week claims they had a responsibility to provide the boy with a safe environment and that they should have known that failing to do so would expose him to a not insignificant risk of being raped. We say that we don't believe that there was appropriate protocols in place for the safety of this little boy. Ms Yuanu says the boy and his mother were evacuated from Nauru after the third rape was reported. The boy had stopped eating, uh, he was having nightmares, experiencing panic attacks and he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. This case will test whether the Commonwealth and the detention centre's operators owe a duty of care to asylum seekers being held in offshore detention. It's believed to be the first claim brought by a child who alleges they were sexually assaulted while detained on Nauru. Lawyers are seeking compensation for the boy's pain and suffering, as well as covering the cost of ongoing medical treatment. He does live in fear to some degree. He was only 10 years old when this incident happened. The Home Affairs Department and Broad Spectrum were approached for comment. Wilson says it won't comment on the case as it's currently before the courts. Emma Younger, ABC News, Melbourne.